<laughs> there's nine of them that are five weeks old. Well, fix and be six. They're five. Just start and a half. separate them as they're to come in. Okay. Um, this last seven seconds of video. Uh, that's a week, not a problem. This is this is all real life here. This is just the way an exam ring works. Okay, you are looking at a very cute and a very sweet rat who, as you can tell here, has a pretty severe dyspnea. Um, she is not coughing, so this is basically a real dry type of, uh, of disease. If you listen to her lungs, you can actually hear the dry rub. Uh, and as you can tell, she is not feeling well at all. Uh, anyway, there wasn't much to uh, get a sample as far as any exudate from the nose. So I started with my classic fecal sample, knowing that if there was something in there, it would have been swallowed and made its way into the... Uh, into the enteric tract and GI system. Anyway, so here's what we're telling, we're trying to tell you at this point in time. Our fecal actually shows that we do have SIBO. We have uh, tons and tons of cocci, but very few rods in our sample. So that tells us that there's definitely something a little bit out of whack in kilter. Um, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and treat with antibiotic. But what's even stranger was while I was in there looking at all this poop, I also found tons and tons, or three or four, um, stopped uh, spores. So in other words, somewhere, Inside this rat, from here to here, is actually some possible aspergillosis or some other type of similar um, fungus. Uh, and what's kind of cool is they were actually on the stalk, so the spores had not fallen off. Um, I did not get pictures, so I do apologize for that. <coughs> and here is my medicine being delivered. Why, well, thank you, Vanna. You are lovely to look at. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> we're good. We're good. Uh, anyway, so I'm juggling a chart in my other hand as we speak. So it turns out that we're going to go ahead and start mixing. We're going to mix together an antibiotic. I don't want to stress this guy out too much. In a perfect world, I would want to get some x-rays, possibly even some cultures and so forth. But this guy is so far gone and she has so many rats. We're in a rush to see what's going to make a difference here. Um, so we're going to start off with an antifungal, antibiotic, and I'm also going to add a very, very low dose of corticosteroid in there just so we can hopefully, any inflammation in those lungs, we can decrease that, make them breathe easier, and also get some better water intake. This is the water bottle that Mama's brought, and she says that is the same level of water that's been in there for a week. I have doubts, but that's, you know, our buddy here does not look that dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> but she says she has been feeding baby food, so that may be where most of our moisture is coming from. But other than uh, a slight difference in bacterial flora and fauna, um, and the addition of, of some stock, you know, fungal spores, uh, I think we're on the right track. All right, that's it for now. Have any questions? No. Nope. No, none? All right, that's it. Later. I was making jokes about my cooking a minute ago. So I, I can't take credit for cooking this, but like I said, I did as my recipe. <laughs> <laughs> but she likes it. Look, I like it. I know. Bless you. Bless you. She was okay. Maybe it's got a bad aftertaste. I can't account for everything. <laughs> All right, that's it.